now to take the second derivative second derivative we can lump the one half here and say that we have the product here so taking the um, first derivative of my f of x kind of like my first function is just going to be again one half e to the x squared minus three then times two x then times the second function which is two x add that to my derivative of my or my first function e to the x squared minus three and then times the derivative of the second function which would be times two now obviously we can kind of simplify some things here right so we see that the one half and the two those are going to multiply the one here the one half and the two are going to multiply the one and we can see that they both share a uh, e squared minus three so if I was going to actually let's simplify this so it's a little bit easier to see x squared minus three we still have an x so it's um, times 2x squared, right? Because all I did was divide out the 2 and those 2 to go to 1. And then plus over here, um, looks like I just have e to the x squared minus 3. Does everybody agree with my simplifying and cleaning things up? Is everybody okay with that? No? Yes? Now we just see that they both have in common this, so I'm going to factor that out e to the x squared minus 3. I don't know why I did a parenthesis that way. So what would be left over there would be a 2x squared. And then here, that's the exact same expression. That's the exact only term, so it'd be plus 1. And again, I can go back and check my work. If I did multiply this times that, I'd get that. And this times 1, I would get it over here. So either way I look at it, you guys can see that I get the same result. And that would be, yeah. Why double prime?